jobs ready for you. Hi guys, I'm Black Card and welcome back to Phasmophobia. We're gonna be continuing our exploration of the cursed objects. Uh, last time we messed with a Ouija board and got a ghost to hunt for the first time. And now we'll see what other cursed objects we can find. Let's go. object. Ghost should respond to spirit box. That's good. Uh, even if you don't get this message saying there's a cursed object, um, there's still there can still be a cursed object present. It's just you're not gonna get the message for it. So don't don't assume that it's, it's only when the message plays. Snowing, it's gonna make spirit orbs hard to see. Let's go. Let's figure out what the ghost is first and foremost. Ah, I think we have the magic mirror. It immediately touched the door somewhere. I don't see any ghost orbs. Let's see if we can see which door the ghost touched. So I don't really know how the mirror works, but that's, no, that's not a ghost orb. Um, this might not be a ghost that has orbs. It seems further away. So the ghost does have an area around it where it can interact with objects through the walls. So it, it can interact with things without leaving its room. That's just snow. Oh, that's a ghost orb. Or it's snowing through the wall. But yeah. Well, we don't really need the mirror. Um, we don't really need the mirror then. Because uh, we know where it, it would show you the ghost room. Oh. Fudge. Oh, you scared me, Mr. Ghost. It immediately went for the breaker, so... Well, Jin is not even an option because we got spirit orbs. That should have felt quite a hit to our sanity. It's pretty active. And it only took, like, what, 3% of our sanity? We were in the dark, we looked at the ghost, and we got a ghost event. And, uh... We might have a banshee, but we should get some spirit box as well. I okay, still haven't switched to text, so I don't have to talk. Because there are some ghosts that respond negatively when they hear you talking. So, it should respond to spirit box. It's the first time I've got a ghost orb in this room. And we got a bone. <laughs> Okay, we have spirit box and a ghost orb immediately. Awesome. Uh, we have spirit box <laughs> and it could be a mare. I'm gonna go for mare because it likes darkness. It killed the breaker immediately. 
And Mayor is known for being the ghost that likes darkness, but it's pretty active. Huh, it's more likely to hunt in the dark too. So we have a bone evidence in the ghost room. What's the other mare evidence? Hmm, ghost orb, ghost writing. I have this, I have the flashlight, and let's grab the ghost book. It's very active, just super active, but it's not dropping our sanity much, so... Could be a mimic or something. Need to look out, there could be a fourth fourth evidence. So... Can I put this on the toilet? Okay. Um... Let's pick that up. That is the ghost room. The orb will always be in the ghost room. So... Sometimes you can have more than one cursed object. But... I guess we have the mirror. It's been throwing something. Did you write in the book? Mr. or Mrs. Ghost? Oh! What? The book is gone! It threw the book! But didn't write in it. So that means the ghost cannot write in the book. Oh, did you do a ghost event in my face? Okay. It cannot write in the book. Potentially, because it interacted with the book in a way that does not result in ghost writing. We can cross that out so it's an Onryo or a Yokai. Onryo will hunt if it blows out more than more than one candle? I think it needs at least three candles. Oh boy. How can we prove this is an Onryo? Freezing temperatures. Well, that is very easy to do. So... Yep. Oh yeah, I should take the picture of a mirror. My sanity is dropping. I should take a picture of the cursed object, which is that mirror. And you know what, I should just, for extra money, get some salt. If it has freezing temperature in the ghost room, and the breaker's already broken, so... We have the cursed mirror here. If it gives freezing temperature, it's not real. Ah! Oh, freezing temperatures! Okay, thank you, ghost! You are in Onryo, and I don't need to put any candles all over the place um, to figure that out for now, because once I get better at this game, we figured it's an Onryo. Okay. Now. I probably don't need this camera. I am probably going to die from doing this. Oh boy, how do I want to do this? We have we are at 100% sanity now. I want to see how much it drops your sanity. You know what? I'm going to drop the crucifix in the ghost room see so if it prevents the ghost from hunting because I don't know how to use a crucifix yet. I I've never gotten it to work. They say a crucifix will prevent the ghost from hunting. That is, if the ghost hunts from the ghost room, it should stop it. But it might not be in the ghost room and it might hunt from somewhere else in the house. So, in that case, uh, well, that's not gonna work. Honestly, I wanna... I'm gonna take the mirror- wait, I don't know if it's immediately gonna use the mirror when I pick it up, because, uh, it might result in, you know, dying. It, it, it might be insta-death when we use the mirror. Our sanity dropped to 96%. I'm dropping- I'm gonna drop another crucifix. 
in the house. I don't know if that's gonna save me. I don't know how these things work. But if we use the mirror, it's gonna drop our sanity. There is a hiding spot here. If I can make it. You just... I, I've never tried hiding from a ghost before. I don't know how it works. So... Oh, it's a very active ghost. Okay, what else do we need, potentially? Capture ghost photo. Oh, we missed out on that. Find evidence with the EMF. That should be easy money. I'm just... If I die, I'm gonna need every cent to buy back all the stuff I'm going to lose. So I just want to make some money first before I go dying to this ghost. Oh, it closed the door. It's not doing anything. I'll just drop it in here. Pick something up, it should count. I don't know if I have to be there to witness the, this thing or not. Okay. I need to know what my sanity is at, and to be able to tell how much it drops from using the mirror once. Still, uh, 98, 97, something like that. Okay, let's grab the lighter, and be ready to smudge. Because it might lead to the ghost hunting after using the mirror just once. We'll know a hunt has started because the front door will shut and something weird is gonna happen. And I think we need to have a need to have room in our inventory to use this item, so I'm gonna drop my flashlight. Oh god, this is dark. How do I use it? Nothing I'm pressing is responding. What the hell? Okay. How the hell do I use this mirror? The mirror is broken? Excuse me, what? I can't use it? The use button isn't working? What? Neither F nor E is doing anything. Why is that not working? The mirror is useless? Crap, I don't have a camera. It did a ghost event. But that should count as... <sighs> nope. It didn't count. Why the frick not? Is it because we already know where the ghost room is? Is it because we already knew the ghost room? Okay, what did I do wrong? Leave a comment if, y if you know what I did wrong, because I don't. Is this not a cursed mirror? Is this just a regular mirror? Oh yeah, Unreal likes fire. I should be Is there another cursed object then? Is that not the mirror? Was, was the mirror not the cursed object? I don't understand what's going on. Is there a potentially different cursed object in the house? Because I couldn't use it. Is that just a regular mirror then? It sucks. No, this mirror 
made me feel weird. So it is a cursed object, I just couldn't use it. Well, that's useless. The mirror is useless. Literally, just useless mirror. I'm gonna try to get some a ghost photo, I guess, then. Because... Mm, because I don't know. Does anybody have any ideas why the mirror didn't work? Why I couldn't use it at all? Like, I was pressing E, I was pressing F. I don't understand. Shit. Fuck. That's one aggressive mofo of a ghost. No, there's no other curse objects. Sometimes there's a music box in this room. Wow, this ghost is doing so much stuff. Did it use a crucifix? No, we, I guess it hasn't hunted yet, so... Because we kept our sanity high. But it is active. It is, it is trying so hard to hunt. Are there any cursed objects other than the mirror? Nope. Nothing. Why is the mirror useless? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Why are you the most useless of them all? Okay, let's try to do another one. Wait, let's try to get an EMF. It's being active. Throwing shit. Please tell me this counted. Please tell me that counted. Yes. We got some objectives done. Why did the mirror not work? Anyone have any ideas? Is it because we found the ghost room early? Because that there's nothing else I can think about. Okay, do we how much money are we getting from photos? Oh, we got a ghost photo. Cool. Wow, we did three ghost events and 31 interactions. It didn't travel much. It moved 10 objects. It used 3 objects. It moved 15 doors. It was going like crazy for the doors. And it was out of this room for only a minute. Okay, let's see if this time we can find a different cursed object in the house. This time, in case we get the mirror again, I'm not using the camera and I'm gonna see if I can use the mirror to locate the ghost room. Yeah, we have the mirror, so... I need to get EMF evidence. And it responds to spirit box. I'm just gonna drop these two things here. Honestly, I should probably drop the flashlight too. Um, wait, how do I? Yeah. Because the breaker is still gonna be on. I wanna check what our sanity is. And uh, grab a smudge stick. It's already doing an event. Seems like it's pretty active. Okay. So I want to see if I can use the mirror now. Um. One 
20. Ja. Ja. The hash shown as the ghost room. I wanna see. It didn't trigger a hunt. Now we know that what the ghost room is. Okay. Um how much sanity did it go from 100? From 100 to it only dropped sanity by like 20%, which honestly isn't that much. It wasn't that bad. I want to drop this in a place where I'm going to be able to pick it up again. Probably not going to be able to pick it up. Okay. So now we know the ghost room. We can grab the camera. We can grab a bunch of other stuff. And figure out what type of ghost it is. So that's how you use a mirror. I thought, considering we asked the Ouija board like one question and it dropped our sanity by like 50. We still have the lights on so we don't really... It said it responds to people who are alone so we should have spirit box. Oh boy. It is this? No, not this room. It's the nursery. It's one of these two bedrooms. It's in this bedroom. Because it has this little, little painting that we saw in the mirror. This is the ghost's favorite room. We have spirit orb. And we immediately got spirit box. Okay, we have... Is this gonna be another on Rio? No way. We have two evidence crossed out, so the mirror makes it a lot easier. And ghost orb. A mare, a yokai, or an on Rio? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do we have another one? Wait, is the yokai the one? Is it's gonna have a... Uh, well, an Rio is gonna have freezing temperature in the ghost room. We found out what the ghost is pretty quickly, and I mean, in a large map, like the prison or the school, this kind of mirror that allows you to see where the ghost is would be insanely useful. getting and I'm in the wrong room. Why do I always get the nursery and the room by the stairs mixed up? Oh, we got a bone. We need to take tree star photos. Oh, we got freezing temperatures. Hello on Rio! Second on Rio! What the heck? Second on Rio. We got another on Rio. Let's go. What is this? What is the San Rio Fest that's going on? We have for Could be a mimic. Is this an on Rio mimic? I had I had been fooled by by a freaking mimic once before. Um it was not very pleasant. I figured out the ghost type, but there was something weird because the ghost gave four evidence. There was uh, there was fingerprints. There was like, you know, every ghost gives three evidence. And then there was a fourth type of evidence, which was fingerprints. Which none of the ghosts should be giving you. Which was like, this ghost was giving you evidence that it shouldn't give you. Oh, it's a tiny little girl ghost. It's a baby ghost. It's a child ghost. Okay, it does not seem to be giving us fingerprints in the ghost room. It has interacted with that door, so... Did we get a good photo? Oh yes, we got good photos. So I'm gonna say this is another on Rio, hello? We got the mirror twice, and we got an on Rio twice in the same place. What the heck? 
We also need to get parabolic microphone and EMF reader. Okay, this is kind of crazy. Ah, we're good on sanity. The ghost can't hunt us yet. We might as well make some extra cash out of it. See, I'm getting more chill about everything that's going on. Like, I'm remembering to snap ghost photos. Um, it's in the doorway. It's messing with us. Doing something. Did that count? No. Come on, you just sang. You just sang me a little song. Do it again on the microphone. I'm not gonna be playing on amateur forever. I'm gonna be moving on to bigger maps, higher difficulties. Did, was that okay? Apparently that counted. Okay. We got that. Now we just need the EMF for the extra money. In case I die. Um. Oh, look at the lights. Hello, ghosty goo. You just flicker at the lights here. Oh, you open this. We got EMF and it interacted with a door. Extra cash. Hello and thank you. If only making money was this easy in real life. Okay. This on Rio is a lot less aggressive than the last one. It's maybe because it's a little girl. Yeah, she's a little bit shy. She's a child, after all. She's got to mind her manners and respect the adults. Um, yeah. Okay, I think this was a pretty good money maker. And that's how you use the mirror. Uh, also, what the heck? Getting the mirror twice and getting double on Rios back to back. Crazy. Yeah, it wasn't on Rio. <laughs> what the heck? The mirror twice in a row, and an on Rio twice in a row. Both the same cursed object and the same type of ghost in the same location, like back to back. What are the odds of that happening? There are so many different ghosts, but no. It's an on Rio, then an on Rio again, and for the cursed object it's randomly generated. There's six different objects, and we got the mirror twice in a row, and we got the same ghost type twice in a row. This is crazy. So yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this, and you want to see me mess around with more cursed objects on Phasmophobia, leave a like, subscribe, and consider making a donation to my Ko-fi page. Link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.